Hey, so Brendan. All right, so first off, uh, what would you say, what was it that sparked your interest to start long snapping? Um, offensive line wasn't really working out, so I wanted to try something that was different. And uh, just kind of went and tried it. And kind of felt like I just liked it. So I felt like I could work at it and get good at it. So just kind of went with that. Okay. How were you when you first started? Um, pretty bad. <laughs> where I am now. What's pretty bad? <laughs> pretty bad? Like, what do you mean? Like, so, so what would be your, uh, what would you say is pretty bad at long snapping? Um, being terribly inconsistent. Um, how many yards could you get the ball? What? How many yards could you get the ball? I, mean, I could probably get it like fifteen. I think. I, I think. Like, it, was, it wasn't pretty. It was like a wobble. It was probably off. Probably went too high. But I think. I mean, do you remember? Did, didn't I get it there? Yeah, it was. It was pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, of course, no. Every everybody. The reason why I ask you is because you know, I can remember back when I first started, and uh, I was terrible. Uh, I couldn't even get a ball five yards, and um, I remember you said practice snapping into a hockey net, <laughs> and I couldn't even get it into a hockey net from four yards away. So um, it would actually go over the hockey net. So that's that's how bad I was. So I can I'll never forget uh, where I first started. Um, so I guess that we can kind of move on here. So obviously your your starting experience uh, wasn't too great, but you enjoyed it. Um, what has been your experience through NOLS? You know, how would you think that your time, you know, through the coaching and through the actual practice and the lessons, um, what's your overall take on the experience you've had? Your honest take. That's what we need to know. Am I experienced? Yes, of your experience. You know, what going from... Day one to where you're at now, um, your honest experience of it, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, including coaching, which everything that we that you could possibly think of, what is your honest take about it? Yeah, I think it's a uh, pretty positive experience. I think the one thing, though, about, you know, long snapping in general is it takes a while to get really good at it, you know. You can't just expect to go every now and then and expect to get good results. You have to put in a lot of time and is that what you're looking for? Yeah, it's it's all on you. It's what you ever. I'm not looking for anything. This is what you personally believe. Okay. I mean, I think it's a bit like you. You got to go there to learn, and you kind of have to learn how to practice. I guess in a way, you know. No, I understand. Yeah, you, you, you have to learn how to practice by yourself, and you know, I think that's probably the biggest thing you have to do. That's probably the greatest benefit is you learn how to do stuff by yourself. But at the same time, you know, there's nothing like having a coach in like a small group that can really pinpoint what you're doing wrong and help fix it. Right. And would you would you say the small group sessions are are um, beneficial? Obviously, oh, would you? Definitely. Well, in comparison to say the private group, I would assume. What would you believe that there's there is a difference between the small group and the private? And uh, would you think that it pretty much goes off of small group is more on competition based? Would you think that, or do you think you also learn as that in that as well? Um, I think you learn in the in the small group. I think there's also a level of competition, and I think you can't have like. That's, that's like the one thing that's bad about just having like a private is there really isn't any competition. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't, you just always have privates. You'll never get like used to competing. And it's part of like what you have to do. So I think there's a place for both of them. Okay. And to kind of shift gears here, um, so what is your ultimate goal in long snapping? What, what is it? Uh, I remember when you first came. And your dad, both of you mentioned how you just wanted to play on varsity. That was your first goal. Well, you're going to do that. And there's no question about that. But yeah. what's 
what is your ultimate goal that that you have set for yourself in long snapping? Um, you know, it's something that's kind of changed over time. You know, like you said, the first my first goal was just to like just to play. You know, get out there, start for my my team, and from there, you know, once my season was over, it was just kind of like, all right, I want to try to you know play in college. And now that you know our high school season's back up, and it's you know it's, that's kind of my focus. My goal right now is just to be the best long snapper I can be, and that's just kind of my goal for the next three months. So, short term, I guess you could say that, and long term, my goal is to uh, play in college. So, okay. Did you have any particular schools that you were that you really would want to play for? Do you have like a list at, yet? Uh, right now, I'd have to say my number one's Minnesota. Just because I had a really positive experience there. Um, you know, as far as other schools go, I'm pretty open to the idea. You know, I like NIU. Um, did you have uh, a? Do you have a? Do you have a conference? Um, like a you know, type of conference uh, uh, person, like think, preference. I think uh, just you know naturally being in the Midwest, I want to play for the Big Ten or in the Big Ten, I guess. Okay. Um, you know, Big Ten would probably be like my ultimate goal. Big Ten would be ultimate goal. Would you make yourself open to um, you know the mid major schools like the MAC, the Sun Belt? Is that something? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, I think any you know, major Division One school would be awesome whether it's in the Pac-12, the SEC, or uh, any, you know, any of the other major conferences like the Big 12. I mean, that would also, that'd also be really great. Okay. Let's see here. So, you know, based off of all your overall experience um, that you've had in long snapping, you know, again, um, what would you say? is your best piece of advice that you would give to aspiring long snappers who are, who are obviously younger than you and that who would want to kind of try to follow in your footsteps? Um, you have to, uh, you have to practice it a lot. You have to stick with it. Um, you know, especially for me, I started, uh, really with no experience at all. It was something totally new to me. And, like, the first week I went to you after my first session, like, I didn't do anything for that week. I just kind of sat at home, came home from football practice, and just, you know, I didn't long snap at all. And the next week I went back to you, pretty much the exact same session I had, like, the week before. And I was kind of, like, ticked. I was like, okay, I didn't get any better. So then that week I actually practiced a couple times, and I could see, like, my results on Sunday. And, you know, I think sometimes... uh you can get kind of complacent with where you are. And sometimes, you know, all it takes is doing bad one day to really, like, motivate you to practice more. And for me, that's happened a couple of times. And I always feel like when you put in practice every day of the week, you try to get better, and you do the drills, you know, that you're supposed to do. That's when you really can see some results. 